So when you were doing the exercise before, uh, marking the words that you thought were terms, what exactly were the criteria that you used? Now, I'm assuming that you have no prior knowledge of terminology theory. So you might have simply intuitively picked out the expressions that seemed complex or those that were composed of several words or perhaps those that you thought referred to some specialized concepts in the field of engineering um, or maybe those you felt that simply uh, do not belong to general language or are not general words um, or perhaps expressions which you didn't quite understand and were simply unknown to you. These are all valid criteria and the distinction between terms and non-terms will very likely be different for different uses of terminology as we shall see later on. So as a consequence there is no single solution to the question about how many terms does this te text contain and this is an important insight in the context of mining terms from text. The text you saw earlier was scientific, but terms can be found in many other communicative settings, genres and text varieties. In fact, terms are very much a part of any human activity require, requiring some level of expertise, both in written and spoken language. So when the climber in the picture yells, take, this perfectly ordinary English verb will be used within a specialized context and with a specialized meaning. Um, what the climber means is pull in slack and tighten the rope because I'm very likely to fall or I'd like to rest. So perhaps we are now ready for some basic definitions. Um, according to the ISO 1087 definition, a term is the linguistic designation of a specialized concept. Uh, and the concept, in turn, is a unit of knowledge created by generalizing our experiences uh, and uh, our learning in the world. Um, you might have uh, already concluded from the examples before that terms are generally expected to occur in specialized communication. Uh, and specialized communication is generally something that does not occur only between experts, right? But it very much occurs also between um, laypersons and experts. Think just of uh, didactic or educational settings where someone with a higher level of knowledge uh, is uh, transferring this knowledge to um, other people. Mm, the word terminology is itself ambiguous because it may, uh, on the one hand, mean the inventory of terms within a specialized domain, such as when you say medical terminology or legal terminology, or it may also refer to the study, so to the scientific field of studying concepts and their designations, the terms.